But most times, people come up with some, you know, steps so that they will sound intelligent, even though they don't know. So he, he said that in that their business school, they brought out some companies that they believe are going to thrive, are going to do great things, and that are going to be successful. And they put Alibaba in between. And they said, this one will succeed. Alibaba will not succeed. He said, all of those companies, the experts agreed that will succeed. And his company will not succeed. All of them have crumbled. He's only still standing. Now, all of this, I'm telling you to let you know that there is an invisible hand behind the affairs of men. There is a hand that washes the ball to score the goal. If let me go into the Bible. I have several stories I want to tell you about the fact that the people we think we know their secrets, even they themselves, they are studying what we call their secrets because they are surprised. Romans chapter 9, let's go to the description. Now, Romans chapter 9, verse 10. And not only this, but when Rebecca also had conceived by one, even by our father Isaac, in brackets. And this is very important. Glory be to God. You know, when I think of how many things I want to discuss with you today, I have not even started, but I'm already considering time. <laughs> Lord, have mercy now. When you see brackets, it, it, it shows that it is not our universe level now, right? It shows that this is not the original plan. That is just letting you know that it's want to explain to you verse 10. Are you following me now? He said, for the children, you know the children they're talking about? I, what is the name? What is their name again? Jacob and Esau. For the children, being not yet born, neither having done any good or evil, that the purpose of God, according to election, might stand, not of works, but of him that call it, is of, of, of who? As I mean, of who? So, when you want to tell the secret of this, either the rise uh, of the fall of these children, what will be the secret? What will be the secret? The secret lies on of him who calls. Because you cannot say that someone who is yet to be born had committed a sin. Neither can you say that God loved one because he has done something good. Remember, for the children not yet being born. Are you following to this point now? So he now moves on to say that for it was said unto her, the younger shall serve, the elder rather shall serve the who? The younger. It as it is written, Jacob have I loved, but Esau have, have I hated. And this was said why they were still yet unborn. So before you say that Esau was hated because of something he did. Oh, I, I should I even rush now? You know. When you share the story, when you share the story of Esau, follow carefully. It is when you see from the point where he sold his birthright. When you pick the, his, the story of his life from that angle, you will say that the plight of Esau is as the result of the acts of man. Right? Because he sold his birthright. Is that not so? But before he sold his birthright, there was already a declaration that Jacob I love is so I hated. I, I don't want to mess with your mind. I, I just want to take it gradually. But I would have asked you a question. Can we say that the act of man is as a result of the act of God? Could we say that he, he saw the birthright because he was hated. Hmm. I have Jacob I loved, but Esau I have hated. Verse 
14. For he says to Moses, I will have mercy on whomever I will have mercy. And I will have compassion on whoever we have compassion. Now, get this. As at when this was told, is in, we may not go there because of time. Exodus 33, verse 17 and downward. When God told Moses about this, when Moses said, Lord, show me your glory. Show me your glory. And God started saying that I will have mercy on whom I will have mercy. I will have compassion on whom, right? I will have compassion. So you now see that when it comes to the matter of God showing his glory, it has to be a matter of mercy. Are you following me now? I was speaking somewhere recently, we were talking about this issue of glory. That there, no man can afford God. You can't pay for God. That, oh God, if I can pass for 100 days, I will see the glory of God. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. That is why somebody who just gave his life to Christ will break into encounters and revelations. He will break into experiences, the things that you long for. But someone by mercy will be exposed to dimensions of in God. Whereas the one who has been fasting never did. Why? I will have mercy on whom I will have mercy. So God told him, if it is my glory you want to see, we must first of all discuss the matter of mercy. Of mercy. So he can move on to say that verse verse we are going to verse, we are moving gradually to verse 20 yes keep going for verse 16 now so then it is not of him that wills oh glory not of him who runs but what of god who does what who shows mercy ah one of my confusion at a point in my life was when i saw people that were very vibrant and eloquent when I saw the way their life turned out, I was like, God, there is more to this thing than vibrance, you. You know, back then, you know, I read a lot of books on motivation. You know, you know, you know why ask why by John Massin, the the enemy core average, all of those books. I read a lot of them. In fact, I did a lot of studies on that. In fact, at the point, there was a point I thought I was going to be a motivational speaker, so I did a lot of studies on motivational stuff. And those days we used to tell people that determination is the gateway to success. And that, that's not wrong, go. But the, the uh, determination, determination, do you know how many things you have determined? One thing that will humble you is your New Year resolution. That by in this year, before I get, you know, by February, uh, this is how my life should be. By March, I would have marched on. By f in April, you know, I would have, you know, eventually, when you get to March, you just check, you are still at the, the same spot. Okay, if it's by will, how come, don't you have a will? How come you are not moving on? Who is here now that will tell me that he doesn't have correct plans for his life? Who is here now? That you tell me, are you that careless not to have a very, a very nice book where you have your life planned out? Oh, come and ask me questions. I will tell you. I have a very nice, beautiful book I wrote. But you know, at a certain age, this is what I should be. This is where I should be. At a certain age, this is where I should be. At a certain age, I would have done this. And like someone will say that if you want to make God laugh, show him your plans. Because God knows that, hey, he's not of him that wills, neither is of him that does what? That runs, but of God who shows mercy. Someone say mercy. I can't say mercy. Only put a frog. Eh? God can push them to be wicked to show how we can deal with someone. And when I say push them, you know, because we, you know, anthropomorphism, when you talk, you talk about anthropomorphism, sometimes it's very difficult to find earthly words to explain spiritual things. When I say God, God actually, actually, God does not need to make you evil. All God needs to do is to release, to withdraw his ability, eh? the ability to help you to do good. Did you even hear that now? That that if why you are doing good is because God is holding you and it, you didn't pay for it 
And if God releases his hand and says, I'm not holding you again, you can't hold him responsible because there is it's not legal to hold you. Because every man should hold himself. Is that not so? So all God needs to do is to withdraw his help, which he has a right to withdraw. Then you will go down to hell. And when you go down to hell, you still have nobody to blame. Why? God just released it. That's why when people begin to talk with some some things, you know, and say, I know who I am, I know what I have done. And that's why when you study the mind, if you if you understand the message of faith, you know, I taught faith, I've been teaching faith, I've been teaching faith, but you must understand this dimension that there is a mercy aspect to it. Maybe I should rush to make a statement I'm going to read on later that the will of God supersedes your faith. The will of God supersedes your faith. Because that you are moving the mountain does not mean that, that God is your boy. That you can wake up any day and begin to command God. And you want God to do anything and you don't even care about the will of God. When God enforces his will, you will know that the will of man is nothing compared to the will of God. Are you sure you are following me today? So verse 20 now says that, verse 20, okay, okay, verse 19. Where are we? Who will say to me then, why does he still find fault? For who has resisted his will? Who understand this English? You know, Paul, Paul the apostle was a lawyer. If you say that God, you know, like uh, St. Saint, Saint, Saint Augustine, St. Saint Augustine will say that, you know, we, there is a higher influence by which all of us dances to. What it means is the fact that I'm paraphrasing it now, that there is a, there is a, there is an almighty will with which all of us we are subjected to that will and we have no power on our own. That God can decide to turn you to anything. And the, 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 which is in line with this, but when you take it further, John Calvin took it further to say that that means that God has decided those who will, who, who will go to heaven and those who will not. And it's because of this, some people came up with that that there are 144,000 people that will make heaven. If you are not part of the elect, you are not going to make it because the Lord who decides that. Some of you will not, may not have met people like that. Now, and that is the ex people expanding this thing to say that we are pencils in the hands of God. We are pencils in the hands of God. That means God can decide to write you, write, write, use you to write anything he likes. But if that is the case, then why does he still find fault? Why should he find fault if he is the one who uses me to write fault? Do you understand the scripture now? Do you understand the scripture now? Good. Good. So, ah, I, can I even go into that? Oh, I have plenty of scriptures. So, you know, you, you know that. So, someone said that God was the is the origin of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. Is that not so? If God is the origin of the good of knowledge and good of evil, and He knows that Adam is going to eat of it, then that tree of knowledge of good and evil is divine because God is a source of it. Then, if God is a source of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, then evil is divine. Oh, let me not disturb your mind. So, but indeed, oh man, who are you to reply against God? If God turns you to frog, who are you to complain? And do you know why he has to go this far? That Bible. You know that this matter is a serious matter. <laughs> it's a serious matter. Why? There is no dictionary word that can summarize the matter of mercy. No human word can summarize the matter of mercy. Let me tell you something. Anything that it is God who will do it, no man can afford it. Hmm, glory. If it is God who will do it, then you would not qualify for it. Okay. You are the guys are not getting me. Look at me. When God, are you following me to this point? When God calls you 
and he said I will make you great that calling is a revelation of your weakness because anything God calls you to do if it is God who called you you can't afford it and you don't qualify for it so when God every man that God has called we are going to check them in the scriptures immediately they receive the real call of God they saw their weaknesses anything you can afford anything you qualify for is not his calling First Corinthians 4 verse 7. First Corinthians 4 verse 7. I'm the one that you have shown mercy. You have shown mercy. You have shown mercy. Oh, I'm the one that you have shown mercy. You have shown mercy. You have shown. Even for who makes you differ from another and what do you have that you did not receive someone say receive i can't say receive now if you did indeed receive it why do you boast as if you had not received it someone say receive it I want us to, to I want us to study this matter of receive. Are you ready for Bible study? I said, are you ready for Bible study? Second Corinthians 3, verse 5. Let's study we receive. The word receive. For not that we are sufficient of ourselves to think of anything as being from ourselves. Ah, but our sufficiency is from who? I can't hear it's from who. Chapter 4, verse 1. Second Corinthians 4, verse 1. Mm. Therefore, since we have this ministry, as we have received mercy, we do not lose heart. See, look at me. Look at me. There are things that only God gives people. There are things that only God gives people. They must be received. Any day you find yourself having it, I will not receive it. Give it out. Now, this is it. Any honor not given by God, any honor that you did not receive from God, will turn to horror. It will turn to horror. He said, For thou, O Lord, that is shield for me, my glory and the one who lifts up my head. Meaning that if it if you must be glory from God, it has to come as shield. If not, that glory, that glory that you fight for, that was not that was not received, will lift to glory. I don't think I'm pronouncing well. G-O-R-Y. How do you pronounce it? Huh? I'm hearing this renting now. Is it glory or glory? Have you heard it before? Good. It's just remove L. Any, any honor that is not from God will turn to horror. It will become a liability. That's why people have entered their early grave because they fought for something that only God is supposed to give them. He said, you are my shield and my glory. If God is not your shield and you go for glory, it is that glory that will bring you down. And it's on this note, you see that some people, some people, when you share them carefully, they don't deserve what they have. That is why, that is why critics, critics are very intelligent. Ah, uh, see if you if you go to a bear palo, I've never been there, but I believe they, they are doing these things. That the secret of how this nation will so prosper is in bear palo. When people have taken pami or they have taken drink, 
they just start analyzing. No, no. You see, this is where the president is missing. This is where the governor is missing. And you listen to them. You see intelligence put out. But they never make it to the throne. It's there you know that. Kai! It's not talking that way, so. It is God who shows mercy. And when they criticize the person on the throne, their criticism is accurate. But eventually, they were not the one chosen. That's why someone like me now, I want to be the one that is criticized. Though. Let me be the one that is criticized. But as long as I'm the one chosen. Show me a man that God has used that cannot be accurately criticized. Accurately. Yesterday we were studying about, about Miriam and Aaron. How will how would Moses, who was the one leading Israelites, go to marry an Ethiopian woman? We should marry from Israel. You're asking us to marry Israelites, but you are marrying from Ethiopia. Accurate criticism. Accurate. But eventually, it was Moses that was chosen. So, that's why people fight God. Any man that God lives by mercy. If you fight that man, you fight God. You hate that, you should cry for your own mercy. Are you sure you are following me to this point? So, let's discuss mercy over judgment. Mercy over judgment. Hebrews, I have scriptures here, but I will not be able to go into that. Hebrews chapter 9, verse 4 to 5. Hebrews chapter 9. Oh, glory be to Jesus. Oh, Hebrews chapter 9, verse 4 to 5. Yes, glory. Which had the golden censer? The golden censer and the ark of the covenant overlaid on all sides with gold. Wherein was the golden pot that had manna and Aaron's rod that bordered and the tables of the covenant? Look at me. Are you sure you are with me? When you get to the holiest of all, you will see where there was this ark of the covenant. And in the ark of the covenant, there is Aaron's rod that bordered. Thou shalt not do this. Thou shalt not do that. He was carrying the law. Then he saw people that were misbehaving. They broke one of the laws. Then he said, what? Bah! He broke all the laws. God just said that even you. Because law is a revelation of God's perfection and human's frailty. That why God, are you sure you are with today? Why God Keep it low favor. Why God brings his law is to show you that you can't keep it. So that you can cry for mercy. Ah, do you know that God does not expect you to keep all the Ten Commandments? You can't keep it. The law is the revelation of God's holiness, God's purity, that an exposure of human frailty. That is why the man that have access to the whole law, he broke everything one day. He went back again by mercy second chance god gave it to him again but if they have gone say lord i've broken i don't know this thing so i can't keep it up. the guys they collected it you know the children of israel you told them i can are you going to keep it oh we shall keep it we shall keep it before they are broken it again they are saying we are putting on ashes and his ghost they can't keep it the reason is to show you that you can't keep it so you can cry for mercy Let's, let's talk about that yet. So, there are three things that can kill someone in the, in the covenant. Are you, are you sure you have me this point? There are three things. The Lord of Aaron that bordered. The, are you sure you are ready for Bible study today? You know, you have been praying. Last, last month was prayer out proud. This month we will we'll get into the world. Thank you, Jesus. I'm so happy. Are you blessed? So, the, uh, the the rod of Aaron that bordered. So when you are approaching, I come in the holies of holies. I come to the Lord of the land. I come, Lord. I... As you are coming like that, don't forget. If you have issue with authority, there's something that's going to strike you. Because the rod of Aaron that bordered is going to judge you. As I go, I come into the holies of holies. Hey, if you have ever complained about God's supply, there's something that's going to judge you. I come in the Holy Spirit. I come in the Holy If you, there's another, the third one is what? The what? If you have broken one of the laws, the Ten Commandments, you are meant to die straight. So what God did is that 
God, he knows that nobody can keep it and he wants to have fellowship with people. And he wants to bring someone. You see, ah, this person, he's going to be judged by the, the rod of Aaron that bought Ah, okay, let's bring another person. Ah, the person is coming. Say, ah, this person is going to be judged. He would have broken one of the laws. Ah, let's bring another person. Ah, this person would have, he was complaining about supply. Then God said, bring the mercy seat. Then they put mercy seat on top of the, of the whole thing. So, as the board, as you are coming because you have broken the laws, you have, you have against authority and you have talked against authority or this person is coming he has spoken against God's provision this person is coming he has broken one of the laws and they are coming as the law try to agitate you want to agitate to, to judge mercy holds it down mercy holds it down say no mercy say no I will you don't have to be afraid mercy say no Take Are you getting the other line? Life and death stood face to face. Darkness tries to steal my heart away. You know Lord? Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Mercy says no. So you see this person staying around and worshiping God. And you say, Abba, this person was the one speaking against authority now. What is he doing with the presence of God? Look at this person, he broke the law. What is he doing against the presence? Now, around the presence of God, not knowing that mercy seat. Mercy. Mercy. And he, he brought the cherubim around it so that they can protect you. Mercy must, seat must not be removed. If not for mercy seat, nobody has a right to approach the presence of God. Thank you, Jesus. Someone say, Lord, your mercy. Hebrews chapter 12. I need to bring some balance here. Hebrews chapter 12, verse 5 to 11. You have done what no man can do. You have done what no man can do. And ye have forgotten the exhortation which speak it. Okay, exhortation which speaks to you as to sons, my son. Do not despise the chastening of the Lord, nor be discouraged when you are rebuked by him. Now, because when we talk about mercy, it appears as though God permits anything. You can do anything you like. And be saying, Lord, your mercy. You are going to say that one of the signs of the proofs of mercy is discipline. Is discipline. If God loves you, he will discipline you. And you're going to see it because if God does not discipline you, you cry for mercy. And he, yes, despise, yes, despise my son, despise not the chastening. Oh, glory, as the way you are doing this thing, be focused. For whom the Lord loves, he chastens and scourges every son whom what he receives. Yes, if he endures chastening, God deals with you as with sons. For what son is there whom the, a father does not chasten? Keep going because of time. But if you are without chastening, of which are all have become particles, then ye are illegitimate and not sons. That means a sign of sonship is God's chastening. God chastening you. The easier language is that He disciplines you. Be afraid if God does not discipline you. You are misbehaving and it's like everything is moving fine. Let me tell you a story to explain this. You know, it was, it was that the builder has shared this. One day, some persons met him and said, Ah, bro, Billy, what are you still doing? It was God that shared this story himself. What are you still doing in Boko now? You should be in the city and do great things. You can't be wasting here. And he now got, the thing entered him. He said, Lord, God, why are you wasting my life? 
in this village and he was talking he said holy ghost was telling me shh, shh. yeah leave me lord you are wasting my life in this village holy ghost said shut up mm -mm. he won't shut up so he had a meeting this is a meeting that they, when they have their Bible studies, lecturers, bankers, all those ones will be coming to clean the shit. They'll be everybody is running around to be working. He would think because he has a great teaching. Great. If see, something, are you with me? Are you sure you are with me? If God does not put treasure in the ground, your mind is will not bring anything out. Until God puts water in the ground, your drilling machine cannot bring any water out your drilling machine your skills your abilities only make sense when god puts a treasure there so somebody wants to start his story he is starting from teaching. he is beginning from the angle of mining not knowing that you can mine only what god puts in the soil it's not something that god gives a voice that can rehearse to sharpen it Do you know that discipline, self-discipline, ah, glory be to God, self-discipline is secondary to divine ordination. to speak. Okay, until God, <laughs> you see, I see, have you seen weight carriers, eh, or bodybuilders? Have you seen them? You know, some of us, even though we did us this thing, we don't have those muscles. We do not have it. Forget it. It's not by discipline. You go and discipline and kill yourself because it is only when God gives you the muscle that you can build it. Are you ready? <laughs> because your friends are doing it. You say, okay, all of us will do it. All of us will do it. You are carrying heavy weight. You are carrying heavy weight. You don't check that there is a kind of bone God gave them. <laughs> that's why I said self-discipline is secondary to divine ordination all of us cannot be footballers no matter how you train oh long story cut short are you with me so he said Lord Holy Ghost was telling him shut up shut up so this thing you are saying is going to put you in trouble he insisted it said it so the next Bible study nobody was around nobody was around he said, bro, uh, what, what is going on now? What is going on now? They didn't come. Flimsy excuses. And there is no Bible school that will explain to you why people did not come. Because the main thing that happens on the, on the stage started behind the scene. Because I wish you were giving me a better mic. Are you sure you are framing to this one? Are you, are you there now? So nobody came. And he said, Lord, what have Lord, mercy, mercy. And God said, Now the discipline is this. There is a, a new church in one primary school that just started. Go there. Ah, he that they know that is gathering lecturers, is gathering all of that, is gathering all uh, bankers, is gathering. He went to one church in primary school, and that day they were doing impartation. I said, Lord, what am I going to God said, Join line. Abagbele was coming join now. He said, Lord, Lord, what is this? God said, that's your punishment. <laughs> Say, Lord, mercy, mercy. Then the next service, the same people fall for no good reason that did not come. Also for no good reason appeared. I said that now. You can't explain this anywhere. The reason why people fail in the public, eh? most times their failure is in the secret. I show you for me now. God had to discipline him. It's me, I kept you in some, somewhere to labor. You are not telling me that you are, I'm wasting your life. But come on, people are saying deeper things than that, and nothing happened. People have said worse things than what they did, and nothing happened. Why? When God focuses on you, somebody say, Lord, have mercy. One morning I was reading the story of how Abraham gave his Isaac. The Lord said, give me the Isaac. Your only Isaac, whom thou lovest. 
Ah, and I said, Lord, I will give you my last Isaac. I didn't know God was hearing me. I will give you my last Isaac. And I was having, I was having 3K. I can't forget that story. I had 3K. A plan 1K. I was contributing, we were contributing generator for the fellowship. Um, you know, for the generator in the fellowship. Another 1K for feeding. Another 1K, I want to go and buy cassettes. And I was already on my way to where I buy cassettes. Long story short, I don't want to tell you what happened on the road because I wanted to. Some people say that if you pick red, pick red, you will win. And long story short, <laughs> one kid just went like that. But you know, I don't want to talk about it because <laughs> let's leave it. They see you, you just win the phone, and I was looking for phone. You know, those days, phone was new, correct phone. And I was seeing these things these guys were doing, and I'm not upper, upper. Something I speak. Mm-hmm. I, of course, you pick white, you win red. <laughs> the red that I picked, <laughs> let's leave it. I was left with one K at home when I came. The one K I was caught in between my contribution in the fellowship and my feeding. And I remember that morning I said, Lord. I'll give you my life at last Isaac. Uh, Steve, this is the last Isaac one. Came. I didn't know if I knew God was hearing me. I'll be more careful. I gave it. Guess what? A brother came to my house. He came to my house. What were you expecting? That he brought something? Nothing. <laughs> Just, you were saying that then somebody brought 2k is that also or somebody brought 10k if he works like that uh, common sense give that 10k out then somebody brought 100k give it out somebody brought a million then it becomes a business does it work like that yes 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 in this kingdom we have actors and we have boss we have uh, learners you know if you watch chinese film there are all those boys that they can easily kill them but actor the kind of way they deal with them now if if god wants to make you an actor he doesn't expose you to miracles too early he exposes you to experiences and that experience by his mercy he will handle you with iron hands things that people will do somebody can go and misbehave and go scot free god will judge you by his mercy because you, every other person can, but not you. A generation is hanging on you. Every other person can talk anywhere, but not you. I have a friend like that. This guy, anytime he talk, anytime we come to this like this, the way the guy is to talk. And me too, I have my own mouth. So when we, we, we you know, I attended boarding school, and boys' school are that matter. So we know how to yab. The guy will yab me, I throw, you throw, I throw, you throw, I throw. But anytime I'm alone, my heart is like I'm dying. It's like I am drained. But when I look at the guy, the guy is happy. But I'm suffering this thing. But the guy is happy. So anytime I see the guy, I'm running for my life. I'm running for my life. The guy is coming with this, the more yabby. And the things we are saying, not like insult, or, but they are not edifying. When God takes you personal and it shows you mercy, Hmm? You make sure it disciplines you. You can stay for a whole day. Financial door shut against you. Why? So that you can learn lesson. But somebody could do that and not spoil. Why? You are not an act. Someone is not an actor. He is different. Are you for sure you are following me at this point? Because some of you, God is intentional about your life. But you are saying, "What of my friends? My friends are doing it. What means what me too can do it? Are you the same?" God disciplines. Okay, let's get to my message now. Second Corinthians chapter 12, verse 7. Second Corinthians 12, verse 7 to 10. 12, 7 to 10. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Unless I show oh, glory, can all of you take note? If you were not following before, now follow now. Follow now. 
because he's the crux of the matter and lest I should be exalted above measure by the abundance of the revelations a thorn in the flesh was given to me a messenger to Satan to buffet me let I be exalted above measure what kind of scripture is this you didn't I, something tells me you didn't, you didn't read well lest who should be exalted I can't hear you who should be exalted lest who should be exalted ah someone say I he didn't say Paul he said I someone say I lest I should be exalted above major that means that there is a major you are exalted to that is above major that you know above proportion are you sure you are following me there, there are testimonies you'll be sharing like this go say hey stop it don't share that one read that one I, I remember when we just started oh I, I know I, I, who I am now you know you know in fact I want to share my secret with you because what do you know about that secret above measure he said less I should be exalted above, above measure I should be exalted above measure by the abundance through the abundance of the revelations through the abundance of the revelation so what is going to tempt me to want to exalt I above measure is what it's what if you are not following me then I, I don't know what to do I'll just declare and leave you are you following me at all what is the trigger of the temptation to exalt I some say revelations some say revelations is revelation evil things but he said, in case I should be exalted, abundance of revelation, by the abundance of revelation, a thorn in the flesh was given. Someone said, given. What have you received? What, have, what do you have that you have not received? Someone said, it was given. It did not end this trouble. This trouble was given. This is a hard message. Jesus spoke one time the disciples said this is a hard saying he now says that a thorn in the flesh was given to me a messenger of Satan I, I am tempted to still do, go back and read again he didn't say that above abundance of revelation and all bet a thorn in the flesh what we have there is that are you reading bible the abundance of revelations what do you have next is it comma or bet what does comma means it's a continuation that this thorn in the flesh came with the revelation lord give me revelation this man he saw that he went to third heaven and saw things that mouths are not permitted to utter and say this man this man let's show him mercy a thorn in the flesh You may not even understand this first. We are in verse what? Because I want to come back. You must remind me. Verse what? Let's study I. Can we study I? Okay. Let's study I. Luke chapter 18 verse 9. If you remind me, let me just wait. If you remind me. Okay. Luke chapter. And also he spoke this parable to some who trusted in themselves. That were righteous and despised others thank you jesus two men went to the temple to pray one a pharisee and the other a tax collector Let, let's see the let's see the prayer of the pharisee now the pharisee now you are going to read like you understand this message are you following me now anywhere you are supposed to make it loud any word that refers to be loud make it loud is that okay? Are we to be to this point? Can we go now? The Pharisee stood and prayed, thus with himself, God, I, 
thank you eh, that ah not with like others men extortioners unjust adulterers or even as is task this tells, eh, verse, the next verse i fast twice a week eh, i give tithes of all that i possess there's something you forgot to do you didn't count the eye go back let's count let's count the eye then verse 11 i i thank you that's number one i number two i am not like others okay the next verse number we have i number what then the next one is number what number four the next one is what how many eyes we have there let's check another eye again isaiah chapter 14 how many eyes please Isaiah chapter 14, 12 to 15. Isaiah 14, 12 to 15. How you are falling from heaven. Oh, Lucifer. You see, this old oh, now. Oh, now. This, if you have just said, how oh, are you falling, Lucifer? Mm -hmm. that, oh, oh. You know, when someone said that, oh, oh, it's a pitiable thing. Oh, Lucifer, son of the morning. You know, it's called paradox. Some say paradox. How can you be saying good things? You say, how? You say, for instance, you say, the son of the morning, Lucifer. That's a good story. But now say, how have you fallen? So, the son of the morning that we are discussing here has fallen. And he did not fall because he didn't have anything. The person, now, some of you are not even sons of the morning. You have not even reached a level where you can say, Oh, son of the morning. You know, son of the morning. Lucifer had the musical instruments everywhere. If he flaps his, his, his wings, the instruments. Lucifer was a man that you said is a man of my, is, is my kind of a man. Lucifer was a spiritual guy. You know, Lucifer? If you talk of talent, Lucifer had it. If you talk of presence, Lucifer had it. Lucifer, beauty. He has everything. Lucifer. Some of you are not even up to Lucifer. You have not reached. Lucifer will look at you and say, You never even reach. You have never reached my level. The son of the morning. Oh, so when you now hear that he fell, you understand the, he, that. Oh. Then he now says, Oh, Lucifer, thou have you. He said, How you are cut down to the ground. You are weakening the nations. Eh? Good. Good. Keep going. For you have said, where did he say it? In his heart. He never said it with his mouth. The problem that Lucifer had never happened once with his mouth. His heart. Because as you are talking with your mouth, God is shaking your heart. Eh, let's read. And let's go now. Can we read now? You know where to make loud. Number one. I will ascend into heavens. Number two, I will exalt my throne. Everybody says, Number three, I will sit on the mounts of congregation on the farther side of the north. Number, we are number what? Number, number what? Number four now. Where to go? I will ascend above the highs of the cloud. Number what? For I. How many? Uh, how many eyes? Remember your father's friend. Your eye now is in number one now. Your eye. Your own eye. Because as you are talking, you know, I, you know that the people was, was saying something recently when he was, he was blessing his own. He said the kind of arrogance with which young ministers talk, this is, they think very so. You don't see any sense of brokenness. Somebody is just hearing how he has had this, how he has done this, how he has done this. You know, do you know how many encounters I have had? Do you know I fasted for 100 days? I prayed. And all he said, when he's finished finishing, when he's finished the message, everybody's like, What a man! What a man! No man can ever have this except him. If you know what I how far I, I have gone. And everyone is saying, ah, you are number three, Alpha. Careful. Careful. 
Some person is, is, is many one last eye to be cut down. Come back to that. I told you to remind me of our scripture. Where is that? Second. Eh? Oh, second Corinthians. We have not even gone yet. We have not finished one. The Pharisee. That Pharisee, where is it? You remember that second Corinthians? Is the we are still in verse one. Verse seven, right? It's seven to ten. We have not reached verse eight yet. It's verse one. It's verse seven that we are explaining. Let's go back to look. Look what? Eighteen verse what? Verse nine. Are you getting blessed? And also he spoke this Bible. Yes, verse. Keep going, verse ten. I thought we have crossed this. Okay, verse twelve. I fast twice. You remember this issue of fasting? I have told you my story before. Right? I was fasting three days and three days in a week. Ten chapters of the Bible, and I heard, Steve, I can't use you. I was. I said, Lord, what did I do? He said, You know too much. That I don't listen to my spirit. I was the kind of Bible I knew. If I'm walking like this, King James. People were calling me. They're walking King James. The walking Bible. If we are joking like this, I have to just drop. Plenty. Then one day I heard a voice. I can't forget it. As long as you keep listening to me, you keep hearing this story. Because it's my guiding story. Say, Steve, I can't use you. I say, Lord, why? You are in the Bible. You are not listening to my spirit. That is when you begin to study the Bible to preach, not to live. The Lord is just showing you. He went to study in the morning and the Lord just opened the scripture to you. He just wants to reach out to you. The next time the Lord, I speak in the manner of men now, the next time the Lord shared online, you have posted it. It's like, uh, uh, I thought I was just sharing this to apply. It, and people say, oh, more grace, amazing. Oh, what a revelation. And everyone is saying, Abba, it was for you to use, not for your timeline. It's for your lifeline. I twice I, I give tithes of all that I possess. Oh Lord, do I have time to talk about something I possess? I possess. The Bible was speaking about one young Greek ruler. You remember him? Right? He said, I have done everything. And the Lord said, Okay, okay, you have done well. He said, Sell everything that you have. He said, Why will I sell everything? Because the Lord does not want to possess anything. And God only wanted to receive, not possess. That anything you have, you say, Lord, it's yours. It's yours. I'm yours. I'm yours. I'm yours forever. I'm yours. I'm yours. I'm yours. My life is yours. Is yours. Is yours forever. Is yours. Is yours. Is yours my dreams are yours, they are yours, they are yours forever, they are yours, they are yours, they are yours, my goals are yours, they are yours, they are yours forever, they are yours, they are yours, they are yours. I give you all of me. I give you all of me. I give you all of me. I'm yours. I give you all of me. I give you all of me. I give you all of me. I'm yours. The Lord wants anything you have to be what you receive, not what you possess. Say, I possess. He says, sell everything so that you have nothing. So that anything you have from now henceforth must be received. This man possessed. The Bible says, how hard it is. You know, the Bible moved forward to say that he was sorrowful. The man became sorrowful. Why? Because he has so much. 
he was so rich God doesn't want you to be so rich he wanted to have so much that he gave you not things that you possess by yourself so verse 12 13 now says he said and the task collector standing afar off somebody say afar off afar off from where he was like the man was standing afar off from the holiest of all you see I, I am not faithful I am not good enough to go close remember the other one stood he stood gallantly one version said oh God the guy the way he talk about God I could hear his voice with arrogance this one stood afar off would not so much as raise his eyes to heaven he, he, he could not look up and he stayed afar off and he said but beat his chest his breast you know car he beat his breast there is someone who beat his breast hmm? to show pride another one said I deserve it I deserve my punishment let me feel the pain and beat his breast saying God what did he say be merciful to me a sinner hope you know he was a task collector everything that the man criticized him about they are true you know the man say ah, not like all these adulterers not like that that task collector and everything he said was true see wash out how you talk down on people even if they are wrong even if they are wrong when you want to criticize people be afraid for your own self he say lest you fall lest you fall because you'll take the focus from your own self you are trying to you see as I am like this I, I trust God for mercy and I trust God for help but when I'm seeing somebody do something I also check my life I say Lord hope I am safe myself because because you can sit down now and say oh you know you know as a pastor now it can be a very good temptation you say that ministry would have done well even though that they are not they are not trying there are a few things that you need to put together there are things you are speaking with so much authority so much audacity and it's as if you know the reason why everybody is where they are so much audacity effrontery impetus as if you know why so when you begin to pick everybody's fault like this and you are so accurate in analyzing people and you analyze them to their own paralysis from your own perspective are you sure you are following me? He said, He said, Oh, I'm a sinner. Have mercy. Someone say, Have mercy on me. Say, God, be merciful. Verse 15 now. He said, I tell you, this man went down to his house justified rather than the other. For everyone who exhausts himself will be what? Humbled. And he who humbles himself shall what? Should be exalted. No, listen. God must have a job to do in your life. And I said, now. God wants to raise you, but when you have raised yourself and he comes to meet you and you have done his job, what should he do? If God comes to raise, lift you and you have lifted yourself and he has to do something in your life, what is left? Uh -huh, you have left, since you have done his job, let him do your own now. So since you don't want to humble yourself, he humiliates you. You know, humility and humiliation, they are different. But they are very close. So, tell your neighbor, don't do, don't do God's job. Do your own job. Bring yourself down so that God can have something to lift up. Go back to our main scripture now. Second Corinthians, right? Chapter what? 12 is what? 7. It's I. Remember I. Unless 
I should be exalted above measure by the abundance of the revelation. A thorn in the flesh was given to me. A messenger of Satan to perfect me. Lest I be exalted above me. You know why God has to show him mercy to address his eye? Because he knows what his eye did to Lucifer. He knew what his eye did to that Pharisee. He still by my mercy, mercy. Let me show you something. Because this eye, this revelation you are receiving, there is a temptation of eye being exalted above measure. A, an, a, 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 an agent of Satan. And sometimes one of the ways God does is that the area that you have knowledge on more, most is the area that you have problem. <laughs> ah, where you have plenty knowledge is the area you will have you will tell others they will use it to work for them, but you will use it to work. Then you say, but I know this thing now. I know this thing now. Mm -mm. God wants to show you mercy. So that you can say, Lord, mercy. I don't know anything, no. I don't know anything, no. This knowledge has failed me. Because if God watches you and this thing is working for you, you can go about and be moving about and say, Ah, I learned my lesson. I know what I am saying. I, I. If God does not use a, something to hold you down, that's why people they have, you see people with great anointing, they have their own sickness. This is a bad message. You. Smith Ugosworth, a heavy man, a heavy man, he suffered God's stone. Gold stone. You need gold stone, you call it. Or gold something. Kidney stone, right? Eh, yeah, good. That great man. You hold his hand, belly like this. Ah, oh God. You are the man of faith. One of his daughter, I think one of his ears will not hear it for a long time. But this is the man that will hold a, a, a dead man. Hold him like. I mean, he will hold a dead man, slap a dead man, he will come back. But his belly. So that goes, you are, but you are a man. You are. Before the abundance of revelation will overshadow you. Hey, you begin to analyze yourself beyond measure. God put something. That the same, the same medicine that you use to work for people will not work for you. When you need your own solution, you run to God. Because why? If God gives you anointing, the anointing gives you is helping others and is now working for you. Uh -uh. <laughs> you are all and all now in yourself. God may use you to meet others' needs, but when it comes to your own need to be met, He wants you to come to Him. As such, we say, Lord, mercy. Mercy. Somebody is wondering why are you asking for mercy? You that knows these things, you are applying this thing for you. Why is now is your turn now? It's now your turn now. You are now crying. I thought you have a way to solve it. No, God makes sure that what you will need to solve your own problem is not in you. You can use it to solve other problems. But when it comes to you, you run back. Say, Lord, mercy. I have tried, it didn't work. I cannot speak, I cannot preach, I cannot do it on my own. I cannot speak, I cannot preach, I cannot do it on my own. I cannot stand, I cannot walk. Cannot do it on my own. You are my all in all, my all in all. The song of the ages, you are. You are my all in all, my all in all. The song of the ages, you are. See, when I'm done preaching, the me that you see preaching is not the me that is my room. When I go, I say, Lord, it's your boy. It's your boy. Every time I'm done with the encounter, every time, every time, 
I go to lie down in my room on the floor, not on my bed. Anytime I don't return, it's a practice. It's a practice. I lay on the ground and I turn. I say, Lord, thank you. Thank you for giving me the privilege to be used. Because when you check me carefully, there's nothing serious about me. Oh. It is God's mercy. It is God's mercy. Because sometimes we don't we, we can't tell how the ball entered the net. There are things that we know that has helped others, but when it comes to you, you just it didn't work for you. You say, Lord, help me. You help me. And God, by his mercy, he does that to keep you coming. If not, you will be a balloon that has lost. So because since there is nothing to pull you back, you now know how to fly now. So in the name of flying, you're now floating. And the Lord said, he said, and, and because of abundance, he, a thorn in the flesh was given to me. He said, to buffet me, lest I be exalted, lest the balloon fly away. So he put something to hold you back. As people are clapping for you, clapping for you before you go to fight, it draws you back. Cry for mercy. Cry for mercy. So even when you are teaching people, you are in back in your heart, you just know that, hey, <laughs> me too, I need help. Oh. Me too, I need help. Oh. If not, you'll be looking at people and be telling them, you people need, you people need help. You must learn your lesson. You people that, you start talking with arrogance. That's why you see some people that preach. The way they talk down on people when they preach, it's like there's nothing that has been put in them to prefer them. Heavy arrogance. It is what God, what why God will do that in your life is so that you will speak with empathy. You will speak with empathy. You will know that even you, you are not standing on your own. I cannot move. I cannot hear. I cannot do it on my own. I cannot move, I cannot hear, I cannot do it on my own. You are my only all, my only all. Oh, my only all. Oh, the song of the ages, you are, you are my only all. My all in all, the song of the angels, you are. Do you know that if you criticize Paul for this trouble, you know you are correct? Because they are true. The one thing that will surprise you is that the more you talk about those things, the more God uses him. That's why critics are the most confused people. The more they talk, the more God lifts those people. The more they talk, the more God lifts those people they criticize. And they are like, Abba, you don't know that you are seeing what the Lord puts. And I'm not telling you this thing to endorse moral lapses here and there. I'm telling you the things that God permits to bring you to the point of mercy. Some of you, the things that is making you run away from God are the things that are meant to make you run to God. Yes. You are running away from God, but that is what because anytime they anytime when you should ah Satan wants you to be he wants you to be mercy conscious, not mercy conscious. Oh, you don't know the difference. You know mercy M E S S Y. That is why the that is the one Satan wants you to be focused on. So you are dying with guilt instead of with brokenness. Satan wants to be lost in guilt. You are lost in guilt. So you are being mercy conscious. When God wants to be mercy, maybe I wish I can turn the, 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 the pronunciation to know the difference. See, my life is a mess. My life is a mess. That's why I need mercy. God can turn the mess to a message. They cry for mercy. Cry for mercy. I wish, oh, Adam. Can we talk about Adam again? Adam, 
this thing that is making you run away is what should make you run to God. A few days ago, I was preaching somewhere about glory. You were with me. Because Adam has always been naked. Has he not been naked? He has always been naked now. Adam, you have always been naked. Then when his eye opened, open eye, too much revelation now. Open eye. So Adam now is now saying, God say, Who told you? You have gotten one revelation now. Who told you? Anytime somebody says, I want to open your eye. Be careful. Huh? <laughs> Be careful. Huh? I want to open your eye. I want to open your eye. That's why they have opened people's eyes now. They, are, they, are, they have seen their nakedness. So Adam now became naked. He saw his nakedness. Instead of running to God, he was running away. And the running away is not even the problem. He went to sow fig leaves to cover himself. Ah, fig leaves to cover himself. You know fig leaves. Fig leaves. All it takes is just a very hot sun. It will wither. It, instead of coming openly. You know, blind Bartimaeus. Do you know his name? Who knows his name? Please help me. Bible scholars. Do you know his name? No. Ba means son. Timaeus means. Timaeus. <laughs> is, is. Bartimaeus means son of Timaeus. And they added blind. Did they say, do you know that blind son of Timaeus? So his infirmity became his identity. And when Jesus was coming, he had no order. He said, He said, Son of David, have mercy. Mercy. I can't see. So people can see, they know what to say. But me, I can't see you. Mercy. I am blind. I am blind. I can't see. I can't see. Ah. So Jesus beckoned on him and men around they said no you can't go you know you know remember now because these people they know you don't qualify they don't qualify but when you when mercy speaks and he knows what to say say son of david because there's a sure message of david he triggered it he triggered it and as soon as jesus beckoned on him you know what he did he threw away the garments the fig leaves these are things you used to cover you don't want people to see they would be able to see. But when the Lord beckons on you and you are crying for mercy, don't cover. Cover. Open it. I say, Lord, it's me, oh. If you don't help me, where else can I? Now listen. I wish we are still in that scripture, right? Lest I should be exalted above measures. Verse 8. Concerning these things, I pleaded with the Lord three times that it might depart from me. Ah, ah, you are pleading. Why not faith it? This is a man of faith. Why not use faith? No. When God enforces his sovereignty on your life, even your faith will not work. You are, you are strictly at the mercy of his mercy. He said, I pleaded, Lord. I have tried faith. Mm. The will of God supersedes your faith. I have come to the end of myself. The end of myself. The end of myself. Oh. For my strength. Oh, can we talk about strength? Lord, do I have... Hey, you know, Ruben... You are the what? The beginning of my strength. And the what? Of excellence of my might, my power, my strength, my Jacob. Unless God shake Next Sunday, I'm trusting God to talk about the transaction of, of your soul. I don't know if unless God changes it. I can't promise you anything now. But I hope to do that. The transaction of, of your soul. Your soul has a price list. Say my soul, eat and drink. God say, okay, oh. it's not when you have soul that you can eat. You 
because sometimes God can allow you if you are back, back you know, you can be allowing you like that. It can be allowing you like that. When you are done gathering, it takes your soul away. Say now, let your body eat it now. Even to be able to eat the fruit of of your labor is by mercy. Because somebody suffered all his life. Now he wants to enjoy and they say, now you can't eat meat too. You can't eat meat. But also, I've been suffering all my life. It's not to eat meat. You can't eat meat. Your kidney cannot handle it. That you can even eat it. Solomon says the gift of God. You know Jacob? Huh? Even Peter. He said, he said, ah, oh, shut up. Pray the legal small because we are praying. Pray the small. Hmm. I have come to the end of myself. End of myself. I have reached the end of myself. The end of myself. End of myself. Look at me. Look at me. It was I was at ministers' conference when Pastor Sam, Reverend Sam Ajitumobi, was sharing this thing. He said they were in a, a place praying pray with that Jew. I think the end of the year they he select some of his sons and they pray together. So he said, let him go beside that Jew. Let him hear his prayer. And all that the Jew was praying, say, Lord, have mercy, mercy. I said because he was expecting to hear some deep. Deep prayers. Have you heard people that are deep that pray deep prayers for? They talk about if we, when you hear their prayer, I know you are blessed. <laughs> then you are confused. They talk about oh God of the, you know. It was when we were in school. I, you know, we we're, were holding our hands like around. After this, everyone, we're holding our hands round like this. They say, can, can we pray one after the other so that we can close? After this man, he carried, he said, Lord, the God of ancient of days, the God of the mountains, and the yeah. And this other person was listening. When it when comes to another person's turn, he deepened it. Oh, God. God of the deep and of the height. Mm. He reached another person. He said, I speak from the realms of the ancient. The dimensions of the immortals. You reach another person. You say, oh, oh, <laughs> oh, God. Even me, I know that this thing we are doing is competition. You know, you know, it's competition now. You are never expecting God to hear you. You were, you were just. Whereas, one of the greatest men in, in, in that has ever lived, that is still living. You know what's laying down for? Lord, mercy. May have mercy. We thought it's only sinners that you cry for mercy. If you are saved by mercy, you can be kept by mercy. It's only mercy that can keep you. Because see, it is one mistake like this to blow it. It is God that can hold you. See, Lord, mercy. Mercy. And when it comes to mercy, it, your life is in the hands of God now. That means God will express himself because now you cannot claim any glory. Is anyone ready to cry for mercy? It, it is God. First, let me read the scripture for someone. Because somebody, you think, let me tell, let me tell touch something now. Ah! Oh, it, is, it, is, it is He who walked. It. it is God who walked in us, both to will and to do of His good pleasure. That means somebody said that you know, you know, yeah. I, it's by my fasting. I know this is hunger. You can't be proud of even hunger because it's the Lord who puts that hunger in you to will and to do. Have you noticed that bright students are the ones that love reading books? Are they bright because they love reading books or they love reading books because they are bright? Mm -hmm. Because God. Ah, I'm what I'm saying now. It is the that hunger you have 
It's God that puts it. Some people tried, they could not. Somebody held a book. He had a book like this. He said, Me, I must read. He slept off. That you are holding a book like not sleeping off. Is mercy, oh. Because it is God who bought. You see, he, he bought. They bought. They walking and they willing. He walked not bought to will. Not to will. Then they bought to will and to do. That you can wake up in the night and pray for long. Is the Lord that will put that hunger in you? Because sometimes you don't even plan. In the middle of the night, there's a hunger that comes upon you, and you begin to pray. It is God, oh! I say, Lord, thank you for hunger. Thank you for hunger. Instead of using hunger to oppress people, go to God and say, Lord. Some people did not have it. When Pastor Fina was leading prayer, I talk about, talk about. Ah, ah you know, John. You know Jonah? Jonah 1 17. Even when Jonah missed it, do you know what God did? The Bible says, and God prepared. God, Jonah chapter 1 verse 17. I wish I have people that are rushing with me. Jonah, he said, He said, Now the Lord had done what? Prepared. That fish was not a gamble, it was a prepared fish. Do you know any fish that can swallow a person? Does he have a belly for a one scientist was saying that that thing in the Bible was not true? They have done their research and have discovered that there is no fish that has a belly enough to carry a human being. And somebody answered him. He didn't read very well. He said, God has prepared. Prepared a great fish to swallow Jonah. That means, even when Jonah missed it, and it has like, he has, God still made sure he was not drowned. He prepared a fish. You know what the message of God even when you mess up, he has a way of giving you a soft landing. Because the, what, what, what did, what, do you know the things David did? Is it compared to what Saul did? The mercy. David kept crying, Lord, have mercy on me. Have mercy on me. And Lord was carrying a lot. And he started lingering. You remember? The Bible said he was lingering. He was lingering. And the angel of the Lord held him. Ah! Hold me, oh! He held him. He held him. You know, when you are lingering, your 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 life is. You know, you are not moving the way you're supposed to move. It's a race, but it's like there is too much weight. He said, "Lord, hold me." The Bible says, "And you know, because the Lord has shown him mercy, mercy." I can't preach more than this again. Can you cry? Mercy, mercy. Show me mercy. Oh me da da da. Oh me ay 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 oh. Oh me da da da. Oh me ay 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 oh. Oh me da da da. Oh me ay 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 oh. Oh me da da da. Oh me ay 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 oh. I have come to the end of myself. And of myself, and of myself, oh. I have come to the end of myself, the end of myself, the end of myself. Oh, be dead, dead, dead. 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 oh, be Somebody will say, Lord, I've come to the end of myself. I have come to the end of myself. Have mercy on me. Have mercy on me, Lord. As I linger, Lord, hold me. As I delay, Lord, hold me. Myself, the end of myself. I have come to the end of myself, the end of myself. Have mercy on Steve on Mercy. Mercy. I have come to the end of my abilities.
you don't hold me, where else can I go? Who else can I run to? Where else can I go? If you don't hold me, where else can I go? Who else can I run to? Where else can I go? You are the pillar that holds my love. You are the pillar that holds my life. You are the pillar that holds my love. You are the pillar that holds my life. I have come to the end of myself. The end of myself. The end of myself. I have come to the Lord, I cannot speak. I cannot preach. Have mercy. Even my knowledge has failed me. I have gone to the end of myself. Can you cry for mercy? I have come to the end of myself. End of myself. End of myself. I have come to the end of myself. The end of myself. The end of myself. I have reached the end of myself. Lord, I have reached the end. Myself, the end of myself, oh, the end of myself. Oh, oh, oh. I have reached the end of myself, the end of myself, the end of myself. Oh, oh. if you don't help me, where else can I go? Who else can I run to? Where else can I go? I have come to the end of myself, the end of myself. Even my knowledge has failed me. Have mercy. Have mercy, Lord. I have come to the end of my knowledge. I have come to the end of my experience. I have exhausted them. Mercy. You don't carry me, where else can I go? How else can I stand? Where else can I go? If you don't show me, how else can I see? Where else can I go? If you don't show me, how else can I see? I have come to the end. I have come to the end of myself, the end of myself, the end of myself. I have come to the end of myself, the end of myself. Beloved, can you cry? Cry for mercy. Cry for mercy. I have come to the end of my 
your best, but now hand it over to God. Lord, can your mercy take over? Can your mercy? You have tried your, for your marriage, for your business, for your ministry. Can you hand it over to God? Mercy! Mercy! Jesus, Father, we plead for your mercy. We come as vessels of mercy. Mercy, Lord. close now but I'm hearing in my spirit that there are people that want to come to the altar and say Lord I want to leave this one before you you know that see, you want to come and cry for mercy you must not come home. some of you may have to stay but they, I want to give opportunity for someone that say Lord I want to come this is my matter now it's a mercy matter Come. 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 I have come to the end of myself. The end of myself. The end of my. You want to kneel down before any posture you want to take and cry for mercy. I have reached the end of myself. The head of myself Have mercy on me Oh me dead, dead, dead Oh me arawai, oh Oh me dead, dead, dead Oh me arawai, oh I have come to the end of myself If you don't carry me how else can I stand? How else can I stand? How else can I stand? If you don't show me, how else can I see? How else can I see? Oh, I have come to the end of myself, end of myself, end of myself. Oh. I have come to the end of myself, end of myself. Lord, I have tried everything I know how to do. Cry for mercy. Help me 
Fibonacci. The pillar that holds my life. You are the pillar that holds my life. You are the pillar that holds my life. Lord, I am not depending on my talent. Lord, I am weak. That is why I'm coming. I am weak. You don't know what to do with weak people. Do to me what you want. You are an expert. You are an expert when it comes to turning weak people to something great. Here is another weak person. The expert of weak men. You know how to turn them as raw materials. Raw materials. Lord, I am a raw material. I am a raw material. I have come to the end of... You have tried everything you know how to do. But you could not succeed. Can you say, Lord? Mercy! 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 come to the end of myself what I know is helping others but me but me is not helping me I run to you I have tried my best Lord but I run to you I took away the fig leaves I let go of the fig leaves See me just as I am. I have come to the end of myself. End of myself. The end of myself. I have reached the end of myself. The end of myself. The end of myself. The end of myself. Oh. I've come to the end of myself. Hey! Oh, me, I want you. Oh, me, go, go, go. Oh, me, I want you. Oh, me, go, go, go. Oh, me, I want you. I have reached the end of my life. In the name of Jesus. Father, we come before you and we are saying, if you can use nothing, use us. If you can use weak people, use us. We throw away our garments, we let go of the fig leaves. And we come naked before you. And we are saying, Lord, have mercy. Have mercy. We bank on your strength, not our own. We bank on your strength. We bank on your strength. All we have is weakness. And we say, Lord, 
What can you do with this weakness of mine? I hand it over to you as a vessel of mercy. Like planned by Timaeus. If you can use a nameless man, you can use me. If you can help a nameless man, you can help me. Me arawa yo. the name of Jesus Father we, are, we don't have much to say we just came to say have mercy it is not of him that wills it is of him that runneth but it is of the Lord that shows mercy Lord you who shows mercy it is you we come for and it is to you we come If you can turn nothing to something, then you have me. I have come to the end of myself. The end of myself. The end of myself. The end of myself. Oh. I have come to the end of myself. The end of myself. Lord, I am, I am tired of trying. I'm tired of trying. You he had Lot when he was lingering. He hold me, hold me, oh, and draw me to you, the place of prophetic destiny. Draw me to the place of purpose. I am lingering. Thank you, Father. Lord, I come crying before you with my brothers and sisters. And together we are saying, we surrender ourselves as vessels of mercy. Lord, we are not going to claim the glory, but because henceforth, from now henceforth, we have no hands in the things we do in our lives. We don't have hands in it. And we are saying, like a clay in the hands of a potter, do to us what you want. Lord, we are no longer running away because of our weakness. But because of our weakness, we run to you. Do what you can do with it. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Let's, let's take our seats. your feet as we close. I have come to the end of myself. Let's burn our feet. The end of myself. The end of myself. I have come to the end of myself. Mm. Thank you, Lord. Beloved, we bless God for today. Bless God for today. Um, listen. This month, I, I, have been, I have been crying to God for, for, a, for a long time now for this month. I say, Lord, we will not end this month, careless, this year carelessly. Prepare us for what you have. I, I need to let you know that God has already told me, He has spoken to me concerning next year. And the thing God has told me, uh, you need to prepare us this month for it. You need to prepare us this month for it. Every Sunday of this month, 